Hello everyone, welcome to Lime Guru channel. In this video, we will learn about distributed tracing. What is distributed tracing? Distributed tracing, it's a way or a mechanism to trace your request, trace your request end to end, end to end in a microservice architecture pattern or in a distributed software design. So let's take an example. Let's say you have an e-commerce store where you have different services deployed as a separate module. At the front end, and you have an order service which accepts the order. So once the order is placed, it calls a payment service to initiate the payment for that particular order. So once the payment is also complete, then it will update the inventory that a particular order is not available for sale now. And it will also call notification service in parallel to send a message or an uh, email to a customer that your order has been successfully placed and the payment is successful so in this example let's take an let's uh, assume some user comes to your e-commerce store and it places the order so once it places the order now every uh, every system or every module in this architecture is independent and let's assume that there are different teams are working on this there is a different team working on this order service, different team for payment service, different team for inventory and different team for notification service. That is the beauty of microservice or a distributed uh, architecture that you have a modular design and every module can be worked upon by independent teams. Now the challenge with the uh, with this distributed ar architecture is or in a microservice architecture is that as different teams are working on these different modules, they log these events separately. Right, they log these events in their own standard. Let's say whenever this request was received to place any order, uh, order service logged the request. Uh, let's say it generated a, a unique request ID in their system and they call it as a let's say request ID. Now, when the same request went to the payment service, let's say they called it with another parameter, let's say request underscore ID. Inventory service called it, let's say our id which is request id and let's say notification service did not log the request id at all now as the same request is going through different components or different modules it there is no standard logging convention there is no way to correlate let's say if something went wrong in the inventory service tomorrow and in inventory service were not able to update the inventory then there is no way that you will be able to tra trace the request for this particular order that which user sent this request and how it it flowed through where was the where was the flow in the whole journey for that particular request ID because every module is logging the request in its own way so that is the challenge within this type of microservice architecture that you cannot correlate your logs if every system every module logs in their own way now distributed tracing solves this problem so distributed tracing what it does is so let me remove this different naming convention so distributed tracing how it solves this problem is that whenever a request is received it creates a trace for that request starting from the point when the user sent the request it creates a trace for the request and it gets a trace id so this order service will log a trace id for this request similarly when the request will go to payment service it will again log the same trace id and similarly inventory service will log the same trace id and notification service will log the same trace id so now in this case every service is getting the trace id the trace id is getting propagated among all the services and they are logging the trace id and every system also logs its own id in a in a field which is span id so every system gen generates an event which is called a span within that particular system for example order service when it's logging a trace so it will create a unique id specific to order id order service and that is called a span id so this span id will be let's say span id 1 this span id uh, in the payment service will be span id 2 in the inventory service it will be span id 3 
and in the notification service it will be span id 4 so any id unique to that particular module is the span id and any and the id unique to the whole journey is the trace id so trace id will remain same in the whole journey let's say trace id is 1 2 3 then it will be 1 2 3 uh, in the payment service also it will be 1 2 3 in the inventory service also and it will be 1 2 3 in the notification service also but span ids will be different span id 1 span id 2 3 and 4 and there are tools uh, uh, which helps you to collect all these logs at a central location so in order to visualize all these logs in in one place you need to send all these logs in a central location so you will get the complete trace and different traces of different spans of these trace let's say span 1 span 2 span 3 and span 4 you will get all the complete trace uh, at one central location and you can there are multiple tools available uh, to support this uh, distributed tracing pattern to collect the logs at centralized place uh, and then those tools also helps you to visualize the trace also so it will show you that what uh, how the complete trace looks like with what all components your request went through and what was the time taken by each component what was the uh, latency in each component and what was the overall latency so with the help of this uh, centralized locking mechanism in a distributed tracing and having a standard way of uh, logging with the help of a trace and spans it becomes easier to find the end to end end to end journey for an overall request in a distributed architecture or let's say you have a software which has a multiple components and your events are flowing through multiple components or multiple modules so this way you can uh, correlate your events using distributed tracing and the tools let's say there are uh, certain tools let's say zipkin or jagger so these are tools that specifically designed to handle this kind of uh, tracing uh, where you can visualize these kind of a trace and as i mentioned you can view that what was the overall journey of a particular request across different microservices or across different components so this is the concept of distributed tracing i hope you got the concept i tried to explain it in a simpler easier manner with the help of an example if you like this video, please press the like button, do share this video with others and do subscribe Lime Guru channel to support us. Thank you.